If you make to the spinning bar, you are one of the best athletes in the world. Hey everybody, recently Ninja Warrior Sport along with American Ninja Warrior TV show allowed young athletes compete on the same stage as an adult. And on a season 13 of American Ninja Warrior, two out of four athletes made it to the stage three were kids. A Kenan Lopsack, who was only 15 years old, was only the one who made it to stage four and make a history as it was his first time on American Ninja Warrior. And if you're not familiar with the sport, this is impressive. So recently Traverse Fitness hosted Ninja Sport competition, which is in my opinion the combination of the strength, skills, endurance, technique and everything that you can put in Ninja Warrior sport in general. And if you're wondering what it looks like to be a professional Ninja Warrior athlete, check out uh, Ninja Sport competition. Unfortunately, this amazing competition, I couldn't neither test or compete because I was in LA. Anyway, I want to say thank you to Traverse Fitness to keep the course set up for a couple more days for me to have opportunity to come back and try it. And today I'm going to share with you what it looks like to be on the course and to see how you can perform compared to elite Ninja Warrior athletes. So the competition has a different courses and the course that we have opportunity to try today called Burnout. It contains several obstacles with no feet engagement. So, okay, thank you for attention. Uh, let's talk, more work, let's go. No one in the history of the Ninja Sports Network or Ninja Sport competition has ever completed a burnout course. The, the closest was the one that we recently hosted here, the one that we're gonna do today. Uh, Kaden came very close, he got to this move. All you had to do is one, two, three more hand placements. Would yeah. have been the first in history to finish. Tight. Oh, inside of the UFO, oh. not quite able to hold on. Just to get to that point, I was really impressed. I think we designed it in a way where we'd be really impressed if anyone even got past the crux, which we'll show you in a second, mm -hmm. the forearm grower. If you look at it, you already get pumped. <laughs> Let's go obstacle by obstacle to see what we have and actually I think it will be very interesting to calculate how many moves you have here. You know what? Um, I, I want to see how much blood you will throw in your forearms, right? Pre-pump measurements. <laughs> Pre-pump -pre measurements, it sounds so bad. I remember in my prime I believe I have 31 and a half, 32 and a half, 32 and a half. Ooh, look at this. How much do you have, bro? 34? Wow! How much do I have? Look at that, 46! Uh -huh. Dang! <laughs> you can't beat that. <laughs> Give me the camera. Flex? Yeah, okay. What is that? It is six, 17 year old forearm. 33? Okay. You see, I'm not the biggest dude in the company. Flexed? Yeah, 31. Okay. Biceps would also be pumped too, so you want to try that too? No, biceps, who cares about biceps? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on now. Let's measure biceps. First obstacle, seven moves. Pretty friendly. It looks like easy roll, uh, but whatever you grab it, it starts like yeah. twisting out. Mm -hmm. Number three, flip hanger. I'll do that one more time. Do, do it like a normal human. Yeah. I'll do it like a normal human. No. <laughs> Yeah, let, I'll, let's. I'll do it efficiently, but not max efficiency, just because most people who get at this point are good enough to uh, to be quite efficient. So. Yeah, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Without counting sixteen this. to the without counting this. With it, okay, wow. Dude, you start like crossing, and crossing is not very like much. Uh, much. Oh, you want to do it again with uh, less efficiency? No, okay. no, it's too late. You already did it. Okay, it will be one, two, three. Nine moves, and then you transition to the bungee, which is ten, and slide all the way down. Of course, not many people have access to exactly the same setup or the exactly the same obstacle. But to compare the feeling, I believe that some of these moves are way easier than a pull-up. But some of these moves, like 
a little bit harder than a pull-up because it's more explosive and more precise. I would say the maybe compost boarding or pack boarding will be equivalent. A, like estimate equally to the moves. So I'd say maybe half a pull-up, like the half half pull-ups, half, half range. Pull, half pull-ups range. Yeah. So after 39 moves, you go to the crux, and crux is the the hardest part of the course, and it looks like some kind of friendly stuff, but it's not. So the thing is, you hop up and you have to spin these things until, uh, until, until, I'm staying on the floor and I'm already getting tired. <laughs> yeah, until it locks there. You still turn till it gets tight. It, and then you pick up this cone and hook it here. How many, how many moves? I, I, I didn't calculate how many moves I did. <laughs> All the point was to calculate how many moves. <laughs> <laughs> You're showing, you weren't counting. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. And it still kind of spins. 30 moves is not very efficient here. I think you can do it like a little bit like you less. Can it, you can do it in like 15. Yeah. But let's take an average like 20. Mm -hmm. 22 maybe <laughs> and then you put here 62 62 63 64 65 66 it's ideally 75. I don't know how it will be interesting to watch. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, and dismount. Oh, 81 for you need two yeah. hands on that. Yeah, if you. So roughly, I think 75 to 90 moves without mistake. No, but you have two shakeout points where you could chalk up, but you still have to be hanging during that time. Yes. So there is basically. No arm locks like this, no leg locks, nothing, just your hands. Everything that above your wrist or under. I don't know how people <laughs> have. Best athlete in the world, uh, which in my personal opinion is skating right now, did it three moves from then, so I believe like 80 for sure, which is extremely impressive. Top athletes in the world make it to the crux to, to the spinning bar every all information description guys check it out like subscribe and support the sport if you make to the spinning bar you are one of the best athletes in the world so okay mr carbon have fun yeah i think i'm not gonna cut anything here uh, i just want to guys to see uh techniques and mistakes no cuts no youtube magic yeah again this part it was a little bit a little bit different setup so you kind of swing to it doesn't make a big difference but the gym has to change it for open gym stay efficient on it right in yeah nice And this thing spins. Oh, oh I no. Didn't commit. Yeah, didn't commit? Yeah. Yeah, I am cold. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore? <laughs> Still cold. <laughs> yeah. Vance, can you measure his get that pumped. You didn't get pumped? Well, I feel like my biceps got more pumped. Really? Yeah. It's okay, I'm not judging. It used to be 31, right? Yeah. And now it's 31. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> you didn't change anything? Just my biceps are tired. Wow, that's impressive. That means that I was tight and pulling here mm -hmm. and not relaxed and putting more pressure. Oh, here. that makes sense. Using his lats to compensate. Yeah, you are lat dominant. Okay, I saw a lot of athletes do choke like this and you kind of put it on the pants. 
It's not a Benz commercial though. Wow, I'm already pumped. Yeah. <laughs> I think I should rest more. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. There it is. I'm gonna get his face. Oh my god. Oh. It, burn. it burns. Measure his forearms quick. Oh my gosh. Almost almost 34 and a half. Wow. That's hard. Yeah. No, it's not happening. <laughs> wow. I have two feelings. First one, yay, we made it like top five athletes in the world. It just, it brings the feeling like, there is no way you can do it. Like, there is no way. The last move is, move is really hard. Did you try it? Uh, no, but I mean, look. You wanna try it? Come look at it, it's impossible. Sway. Yeah. Here, and you gotta be. Oh, very precise. Oh. But this thing. This one, yeah, it's very tricky. Come on. Oh, you reached. Yes. Yeah, but it's you power through. After two minutes on this course, I think you won't be able to power that. No, thing. yeah, my biceps are so tired on the first run. <laughs> just getting over there. It basically feels like this. Yep. So that thing is very hard. Uh, I was on junior for two years, and I've done one season of the regular show, so. Okay, Three. two seasons of junior, and I believe you never touch the water for yeah. entire two seasons. So you're yes. twice Ninja Warrior Junior Champion. Yes. And you made it to stage three on your first uh, Ninja Warrior adults competition, right? Yes. That's impressive. <laughs> Second to last obstacle, it was <laughs> pretty good, but not as good as I hoped. So, <laughs> hoping That's for impressive. redemption this year. You ready? Yeah. Okay, good luck. Okay, I'm gonna push you. Yeah. Okay.
Come on, keep breathing. Nice, precise here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's hard at the end. <laughs> wow. 34. 34 straight. Wow, that's that's impressive. That's just impressive. Thank you. Okay, Sean Brian, you wanna go? No, no. No, of course not. He's old. <laughs> it's always feel like um, your body hurts and everything hurts and uh, it feels like you overtrain all the time. But the reality is there is a high chance that it's not enough. I don't know how it's gonna like be on like on the video, but in real life it's impressive, dude. It's like it's impressive. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, this last line is already super hard by itself, but after all that stuff, it's it's rough. So in normal courses, you usually get like 30-ish seconds of rest between obstacles, and some athletes can like mostly, if not fully, recover in that rest time. So courses like this where you don't get any time to rest, because it's nothing like super extreme, like you're hanging and chilling, so your lungs and heart are fine, but all those muscles that are like, when you're hanging, it's still using all this stuff the yeah, whole time, so it's, it pumps you out fast. Come on, make sure you get your thumbs on. Squeeze it. <laughs> yeah, come on. There you go. Made it look easy. <laughs> Do these 10 times a day and your fingers will be healthy. Yeah. <laughs> this is sarcasm check. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you Ninja Sport Network for pushing us and pushing the sport for it for sure and guys thank you for hanging out i appreciate it and everything that i want to say good luck on the next season thank you let's go <laughs>